Okay, so uh, this is the the second part of kind of the intro podcast for uh, the spring 24 semester. What you're looking at, of course, is a picture of Hitler. If you're looking at a screen, you don't have to be to access this podcast, of course. Uh, is Chamberlain and Hitler when Chamberlain stabs uh, Czechoslovakia in the back and he basically gives Western Czechoslovakia um, to the Germans. And then the Germans promise that they're, you know, they, they'll stop there, but they don't, as you know. But I developed this at length in the reading. I'm not going to repeat it now. Just an interesting picture. Chamberlain looks kind of really happy, doesn't he? Um, Hitler looks happy, too. He should be. He, he was getting what he wanted. Um, let's see, what I wanted to do real briefly in this podcast is, uh, uh, is talk about uh, Versailles, the Versailles Treaty. The Versailles Treaty was the treaty that ended um, World War I. And um, of course, World War I ended with the defeat of Germany. I, I say this in the podcast, but it's worth repeating here or, or saying here. Um, World War I Germany was not Nazi Germany. World War I Germany was did a lot of terrible things. But uh, World War I, uh, the World War I, it was run, Germany was run by the, the, uh, the Nazi Kaiser. It wasn't run by Hitler. It wasn't anti-Semitic. A lot of Jews fought very bravely in the German army in World War I. Uh, it was a different, Germany was a very different nation in World War I than it was in World War II. So that's number one. Number two, uh, the German army surrendered in 1918, in November 1918, and there was no occupation of Germany by France, uh, by Great Britain, by the United States. Of course, this was quite different uh, after World War II. I mean, we still have tens of thousands of troops uh, in Germany to this very day. Some of you uh, might have uh, served in uh, um uh, Germany. Some of you might have been kids if your parents served uh, uh, in Germany. So we still have quite a presence in Germany in, in 2023. This did not happen uh, after uh, World War I. Um, and the result of this is that Germans, uh, because they didn't see soldiers uh, occupying, there were no occupying soldiers uh, uh, in Germany from Britain, France, and the United States. Uh, Germans could kind of fool themselves that maybe they hadn't really been defeated. And this gives rise to this stab in the back uh, theory uh, that grew up in Germany, that Germany hadn't been defeated uh, in 1918, November 1918, that Germany had been stabbed in the back especially uh, by uh, the by Jews. Uh, the Jews were always the scapegoat for uh, uh, for Germans. And this was uh, this idea of the stab in the back was very, very powerful that Germany hadn't been defeated, that they'd been betrayed uh, in, by internal enemies uh, is one of the uh, uh, facets, uh, uh, one of the lies that Hitler uses in his rise to power. And the Versailles Treaty uh, it made Germans very, very bitter because, first of all, Germany was declared the sole cause of World War I, uh, that it was the instigator of World War I. Uh, this is not, not true. I really can't go into it. Uh, uh, you know, the whole origins of World War I, I could teach a whole course on that. It's really quite fascinating. But there was enough guilt to go around. But because the uh, uh, France, England, the United States, um, especially France and England, because they were the victors, they got to drop the terms of the treaty. So this is one of the terms of the treaty. The other thing is Germany had to pay hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars in reparations. Uh, in uh, other words, the, uh, they got taxed for losing the war. They had to, they had to pay back, uh, France and Germany especially, uh, 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 for uh, for the how much World War One had cost in in terms of treasure, you really can't pay back all the millions that died. And uh, so also Germany lost a lot of uh, its colonial land uh, in after Versailles, especially in North Africa. It lost some of its territory, the Rhineland, which is in the border between Germany and France, uh, Poland, aspects of Poland. So in long story short, Germany feels really screwed 
by uh, the Versailles Treaty that ended World War I or that was signed after World War I. And it leads to uh, great bitterness uh, among Germans. And this is something else that Hitler is going to use to, to ride to power. Um, I want to say one more thing, and then I'm just going to get you're going to get straight to the uh, the uh, lecture. Uh, in the podcast, I keep talking about the Snyder book. Uh, I, I had the students last fall read a book by Timothy Snyder. It was called Bloodlands. Really, really good book. But I think the Hitler versus Stalin book, it works better for this course than the, uh, than the Schneider book. And uh, as I talked about on Thursday, I focus on Hitler and Stalin. So whenever I say Schneider, just ignore it. Uh, uh, the information is still good. But yeah, you, you might be wondering, who the hell is Schneider? I, I don't know who Schneider is. Am I missing something? No, you're not missing anything. Um, I just don't have the facility to go in and edit out his name. So yeah, whenever you hear Schneider, just ignore uh, that. You're not missing anything. But the information that's there is still good information, uh, even though we're not reading uh, his book. So I think that's it. And uh, with the next podcast, which is will come up immediately, uh, you'll start receiving information on the rise of Hitler um, after uh, World War One.